Welcome collective. I'm back y'all with another video. This is going to be a collective read. I'm using the Millennial Oracle deck here. And we're going to see what's, what's going on with the collective, okay? Using the Millennial Oracle here. For the collective, please. Ooh, all right. Some of y'all are deciding to take a digital detox. Some of y'all are detoxing from social media. Um, you're just trying to clean up your digital space, trying to balance your, your tech and your real life. You're disconnecting. So some of y'all are disconnecting from social media. I feel like a lot of y'all are taking time. This is you guys' aura right here. This is you guys' vibe. Y'all are really kind of just chilling. Like a sense of, a sense about something, listening to your intuition, a feeling, or like I'm just getting like your intuition could be telling you it's time to take a break off of social media or it's something here about just kind of like chilling out. Like social media is maybe getting too out of hand. Too many salty people. Too many people looking down on, looking down, um, jealous, salty. Because you could be online doing the most, looking real good, doing whatever you do online. All right. So some of y'all are just to sound like, yeah, okay, it's time for me to kind of like take a break from social media. Some of you are taking a break from social media because you guys could have been feeling a little emotional here. Kind of like going through some type of emotional, trying to balance out your emotions. Um, you could be in a situation to where you feel kind of like, you know, you want to be kind of by yourself. I'm getting. I feel like being around a lot of people right now just is, isn't for you. Like you could be just like, nah, I'm not feeling the crowd right now. I feel like you may have gotten some information because we got spilling the tea, something juicy, hidden truth, disclosing information, slander, gossip, shocking, untrustworthy. So there could be some gossiping going on, something that you heard about, something somebody could have heard about you, something you heard about someone else. I feel like y'all are just taking the time to just like take time off of social media. Some of you are trying to dodge uh, someone who's stalking you, um, a crush. Somebody could be keeping tabs on you. So that could be a reason why you're kind of like trying to stay off of social media as well. For some of you, it's Instagram. Yeah, I see you focusing on zooming in on your goals. So y'all got goals that you're trying to reach. It may not involve you being on social media, so you take your time off. Yeah, I told you y'all got a stalker. Somebody's steady texting you, trying to see what you're doing, all up in your grill, like all all up in your grill. Like wanna wanna know what you're doing, why you're doing it, how long it's gonna take you to do it. Like, mm-mm. See, I know, see, some of y'all, y'all staying offline because it's too distra it's too many distractions. And I feel like you're focusing on, you got something that you're trying to attain right now. And it does not involve all this gossiping and all of that. Like, I feel like you're just taking time off. Social media isn't it for you right now. Which is a good thing because everybody needs some time off from social media. I don't know who this person is stalking you. Y'all got a stalker. There's some gossiping going on. What's the tea on that? What's going on with that?
All right, Knight of Wands. This could be somebody that you was just chilling out with. Yeah, see, something that was like a little, you know, a little fling or somebody that, you know, maybe you weren't taking as serious. Something that was just supposed to be for fun. We got the Ten of Cups and another one. So, yeah, this, I feel like some of y'all, y'all taking a break from that. And it could have been something online. Um, and this person is steady stalking you. Yeah, you got goals. You got real serious about your goals. Queen of Pentacles and a Temperance could be a Sagittarius or a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. got the queen of cups the empress the sun king of pentacles the world chariot and the nine of pentacles someone's trying to hold you back collective Someone's trying to hold you back because this person loves you. They don't want to see you move on. They could even be trying to give you gifts to try to keep you around to keep you to stay. Um, this was supposed to just be for fun. This person is feel, feeling like the chapter with you and them are closing. Um... I feel like I see you moving on from this, moving past this this person, this uh, person. I feel like somebody's stalking you. I feel like this is someone that you met online. Um, and see, this is where your focus is, nine of pentacles. You prefer to be focused. I feel like you got some other goal in mind. You have something else that you're trying to do, but this person here is trying to hold you back. I feel like this person sees you as being very beautiful very loving abundant but they do not want to let you go this person was waiting for you to fall in love with them This person could be a fire sign, king of wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Um, I feel like this person is waiting for you to fall in love with them. Um, King of Cups, Four of Pentacles, King of Cups. Like this person is like they they've they've already done fell for you. They've already fallen for you. They have already um <laughs> it's like you are this person's de desire. You're this person wish fulfillment. Okay, they maybe have taped things a little too far. Um, they put in a lot of effort. Like, I do see them, like, putting in a lot of effort. Maybe, like, um, buying you things, taking you out on dates. But this person is kind of, like, disappointed because they feel like you disconnected from them. They feel like something's not right, like something's off. Um, you're disconnected from them. Yeah, they see you as very, like, they admire you. This person admires the hell out of you. They admire you. But they're just creepy because they're stalky. They're like stalker vibes. 
I told you this person is trying to keep you stuck. They don't want you to move on. They don't they're trying to keep you as close as possible. We got the King of Cups, Queen of Cups. This person actually like is in love with you. Um they they're waiting for you to give them some type of sign or signal to show that you feel that same way about them. I feel like you pulled your energy back from this person. Yeah, see, this person sees you as perfect. Like, they see you as, like, you can do no wrong. This could be a fire sign. This person is going to reach out to you through text message or a phone call. Like, they want some type of hope. They want you to give them some type of hope because they feel like you're walking away from them, like you are like you are leaving them behind. They could be trying to think of ways to uh, come up with finances, um, come up with money, because they're regretting some this type of decision. This could be your energy. You could be regretting this decision um, because you feel like, this person does too much. The lovers, ten of wands, the knight of swords. Maybe you feel like it's too much. Um, you don't want to make it seem like, you know, you're, you're treating them badly. But maybe you've already told this person the truth. Maybe you come. this person comes off as like they're your father, like a father figure or a like, they come off as, like, they're trying to be, like, your dad or your mom or whatever. I feel like you um, are trying to find balance mental. And you're also trying to balance out your own finances. Like, I see you trying to, like, resolve your own issues. I feel like maybe you need some space because you're you're trying to resolve some issues. Um, possibly with the King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or... Um, a king of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I'm getting Libra, very heavy energy here. Maybe you're trying to balance out some, balance something out. So you just kind of like need your space. This person over here feels like you're done with them. Like something's not working out. They're not sure how to fix it. They're not sure. They just are very, very uncertain. They're uncertain. They're like, what will make you be become so distant? They're not sure what's going on. Like, is it over? They're just in hangman mode. They don't know what's going on. Yeah, see, in your hopes and fears, you're trying to get over this. You're trying to leave this energy in the past. But I'm telling you, this person right here is trying to keep you. It's trying to keep you there. I feel like you want to be um, more self-sufficient. You're focused on your goals. You got a goal in mind. You want things to go more in your favor. And then two things go more in your favor. I see you leaving this situation behind. I don't feel like this is something... Um, yeah, see, like, I'm getting, like, a friendship, maybe some type of partnership. Like, you can look at this person, like, you know, maybe we could just be friends, real good friends, real close, because I'm getting the close. You and this person could have, you know, had built a connection. But I still see you kind of wanting time to yourself, like, working on yourself. This person here is trying to keep you in this energy um because this person is just flat out in love with you four pinnacles king cups it's like they can't even help it they admire you but they are they got they're a stalker i'm just gonna put that out there keep that in mind they are a stalker person uh, intentions towards the collective twin flame wow 
Oh, spirit say this person is not. This person is not in your damn twin flame. This person is not, it says not today. And the Grim Reaper. Spirit saying, this is not your twin flame. Don't mistake this person for no twin flame. This person is a fan. I like you, the chaser. This person is a fan. This person is a fan of you. Okay, they look at your pictures. They, um, they, this person is a stalker. This is not your damn twin flame. <laughs> this is this person is a fan of you. They are a fan. Okay. Uh, abundance. This person. We got the snake and stabbed in the back. Gotta watch this person now. Because it's like over some money. When some money is involved, this person could snake you. This person could stab you in the back. You gotta watch this person. This person is just a fan. They're a fan. The golden mirror. See, now where they're gonna try to get you is they could stab you in the back because they feel like, don't go back to this person, y'all. Because what this person is gonna try to do is they're gonna come in and try to act like they're your twin flame, try to act like they're all, you know, everything is everything. But still, I feel like this person holds some type of grudge because you wanted some space. And they're going to try to mirror that energy, try to get close to you and stab you in the back. I'm just hearing all you talk about is yourself. Girl talk is self-indulgent. This person feels like you talk about yourself a lot, like you make everything about you. Yeah, don't trust this person. Mm -mm. Don't trust this person. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm telling you. Don't do it. They're giving me creep vibes. All right, so we got in my feelings. Let me get a message from you. Tell me more about this person. How they feel towards the collector pool. I like that. This came. I told you. They're worried and they are upset. Okay. They're upset and they're worried. They could be worried that you have another. Ooh, they're worried that there is another person in the picture. King and desire. So they are afraid that there's another person in the picture. If they find out that there's another person in the picture, this is going to be their energy. See, they feel like you and them, that's their happy spot. So this person is already like uh, insecure as well as territorial and if they were to find out that you were sleeping with or having relations with someone else this is their energy maybe they're already feeling it because i feel like this person um is kind of like trying to reel you in with gifts or with material things um just to kind of try to keep control of the situation but watch out because i had abundance and stabbed in the back so money could play a part in the situation, but don't get it twisted. This person will stab you in the back. Okay? So that's the message that I got for you guys. I hope this was helpful. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below, and I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.